She is staying with me once again, but I do not talk to her. <laughs> you don't talk to your daughter who, who you're letting live in the house because she's bright. You're not talking. <laughs> Dude, what a f this guy. Like, I hate this guy. Oh my gosh. I, I do. This guy's so, like. This ain't what you want. Project, project. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Hello, people. Everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to Anne Blash. So today we have a few things going on. I feel like I start every video by saying that we have a few things going on, but I always, I, I, there's always a lot happening, folks. It's, you know, I may just be on the other side of your screen, but I'm a person too. I have a complex life. There's a lot happening. Oh, see, uh, uh, no, we have to close the closet, right? We have to close the closet because I, I didn't, and, and we have to make my bed. Already, there's three things going on because there's the closing the closet, there's the making my bed, and there's whatever the f I'm gonna say next. But if you'll notice me in my closet, I have some suits, some suit attire in there, and that's and that's because I go on business trips and I um, you know, a member of society. I, I was at a museum the other day. But I'm somebody who go, who is is out here doing things, you know, and so and and everybody's unsub. All right, I've seen this big like no, I like I saw that it was trending on Twitter. Unsubscribe lash. I was at a business conference. Everybody felt like j like can a man have a job? Just make my bed in peace, okay? Look at how big this bean bag. Look how f big this bean bag. My brother gave it to me. Shout out to my brother. He had it in his dorm room, I guess. Was this seems way too big for a dorm room? And but I had it clean, and I was like, "Well, I'll steal it from my apartment." It was fun. And then we were filming something in the other room, so this is in here now, and it makes it so I don't have to clean up this suitcase from also my trip, my business trip. Okay, I don't know if I told you guys, but I was I was away on business. I I, don't know, I like I don't actually know how many specifics I can talk about, but it went very well, and. We might be relocating to Chicago, but we'll see because now I'm all like huffy puffy from holding this giant beanbag. In. So, but but as I said, as always, we have a few things going on. The theme of today's video is we are reading. I don't know, I, I I was inspired to read Am I the Asshole post. Camera, we need you like one time. Okay. Do I need glasses? I'm sorry. Is it is it a glasses issue? Because I don't even know where my glasses are. Whatever. Oh, they're right here. No, it's blurry. Okay, it's fine. With that, everybody, now that we're 10 minutes into the video, uh, we got plenty of time to spend, but we are doing we are doing an Am I the Asshole video. We're going to go, we're going to do all fucking, can I please, oh my, oh, oh no. I ruined the thing with my fucking click and drag situation. Uh, can I speak? Speak. We're doing Am I the A-Hole reads today, folks. That's right. Your favorite post brought to you on Reddit. I'm so, but, 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 but there, we have a few different things happening here because we have, you know, Am I the A-Hole relationships? Am I A-Hole? I don't know what this is. Public. But then we have BDSM. Am I the asshole? And... I, it, like, are, are, is, is anybody else not intrigued? Because I didn't know that there was a, that category. So we're, we're going to have to look into that. What is this? We want the original Am I the Asshole, right? And then, is, is this for Am I the Asshole? Because, because the, this is adding an extra word in the situation. I don't know if I understand. This is like Am I the Asshole, except that unlike that subreddit here, you can post interpersonal conflicts, anything that's Am I the Asshole, but is not allowed there, even posting about Scar from the Lion King. Don't, that's a bad example, the Scar from the Lion King. That's, I, nobody cares about Scar. Okay, let's just, let's just start. I'm like so hungry right now. And I know what you're saying. Adam, eat, eat. That's not, guys, I'm neurodivergent, okay? I don't know, like, I can't just eat when you tell me, like, when my when I'm hungry. I can't just eat when I'm hungry. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we have many theories to, there's, oh, there's so much happening, folks. There's so much happening at the end. Last, oh, contract writing to do. We have probability theory. 
We have analysis. We we have option. We're trading options. Now. Oh my god! I I I, I just cut all this because it's not even fucking interesting. It's just me complaining about my problems. Strike option pricing is the future. Let me let me just call something. I'll make it happen. Am I the asshole? We're I don't know if I have to censor myself. We're ordering dinner and my wife tells the waitress, I'll just eat from his plate. I said, no, she won't. Did you say that to the waitress? Because it's not in quote. But anyway, then suddenly she has an appetite and eats most of my food. Of course, if the fries are cold, she doesn't eat it. Just what's best, so she cherry picks my plate. I've asked her to order her own food. I'm paying for everyone. She can order anything off the menu. She can duplicate my order. Yeah, you're not the, I would say you're not the asshole right off the bat. Um, did you marry a seagull? Kind of good question. I don't know what, why you're having such a hard time ordering food that's not the asshole that would be infuriating i would refuse to go out to eat yeah no i no i would set her straight i would set her straight in private and be like listen it's at some point i need you to know what you're ordering before we walk into the restaurant because like you're you're not just gonna fucking eat off my plate that's and we're not we're not we're not gonna do that that's not that's not gonna ha stop stop like learn to, or I, I feel like she's scared of ordering, which is the real, like, which is the part that I would take issue with as like, so, like, cause like, I don't know, I'm a yeller, like, you know, it, like sometimes I don't have the energy to stand up for myself. And I'm like, I'm like, I'll deal with this later, but um, I need somebody to get up and yell, you know, for me. If I, when, when I'm not in the mood to do that. So I, I don't know if that's a good fucking whatever not the asshole is she needs to no no i i need i need a stronger partner your wife sounds like a child yeah exactly everybody's saying not the ass i ordered sufficient food for how hungry i am exactly i i, I guess i guess that that is one option though just to fucking plan for your like just ordering learning to order for your fucking wife because she won't order for herself but like that that seems that seems like you're you're just an enabler at some point i don't know what we're going we're going with not the asshole number one not the asshole all right now next am i the asshole for not telling my husband about the abortion before he died or about my abortion before he died oh wait oh this this is a oh well, okay, wait, okay, okay, Let, let's read. Am I the asshole for not telling my ex-husband about my abortion before he died? Throw away for anonymity. Okay, I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards you're the asshole, but let's see what happens. Me, 27, my husband, 34, died yesterday from a drug overdose. Uh, we were married for two years, but his addiction tore us apart. I tried to support him, but his constant relapse has made the relationship unbearable unbearable four months ago i finally left him for my own sanity two months after the divorce i discovered i was 10 weeks pregnant and i was already struggling emotionally and financially i knew he was still lost in an addiction in his addiction the idea of bringing a child into this cast terrified me. Okay, this is getting... Okay, all right. After much agonizing, I decided to have an abortion. I didn't tell him. I didn't think he'd be able to handle the news. And I wasn't sure how he'd react given his unstable state. He was not fit to be a father, and he had made it clear that he didn't want to be in contact ever again. Yesterday, I found out he overdosed and died. I've been happy with guilt, wondering if I should have told him. My mom thinks it was wrong to keep it from him, but at the time, I believed it was the best decision for both of us. Am I the asshole for for not telling him about the abortion before he died? Um, honestly, no, no. Like, and I'm gonna come at this from actually a very unsympathetic place. Did she say it was heroin? No, she didn't say heroin. I don't know. I've been there. Like you're not the asshole because I, I d dude. Like I, I, I've been there and like I'm not short. Short answer is he's dead. So what the fuck does it matter? Like to be honest with you, I don't. I'm trying to say I don't have any sympathy for overdose. I'm trying not to say that I don't have any sympathy for overdoses, but on like I've had too many friends die of overdoses. To really feel bad for your friend overdosing.
So that's the that's that's kind of what's going on. So I'm actually gonna go with not the asshole because he's dead, so it doesn't fucking matter. My daughter left me to stay with her mom and ignored me. Am I the asshole for not talking to her when she came back pregnant? Okay. I raised my 24-year-old daughter, 24-year-old daughter on my own. I had my daughter when I was very young. I was 19. Her mom broke up with me and said she didn't want to be responsible for her child and I had full custody. My ex gave up her rights to her daughter and left to who knows where. Okay. That's, that's, it's already, this is already fucked. It was really, really hard for me to raise her and take care of her. Thankfully, my sister and my dad, or my mom, I don't know why I said dad. Thankfully, my sister and my mom helped me take care of her when I was working, but it still was very hard for me taking care of my daughter and working, doing chores and all that stuff all on my own. For her, I even sacrificed ma- dating or marriage. I didn't want my daughter to have a stepmom or anything like that. I mean, it, that's, it, uh, this is, a, this is on you. This is very much on you that you don't want your didn't want my daughter to have a stepmom or anything like that. That's kind of a weird thing that's very much on you and like what you need to like look at yourself and how that like what you would why is my question for to that. But anyway, my daughter and her mom's relation started flourishing about two years ago. Oh, I bet you hated that, dude. Her mom visited me and said she wanted to talk to her, her daughter. I didn't want to allow her, but I thought my daughter needs to know about her mom. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. You are the asshole. Like, I don't, this lead up, like, the initial question is literally posed to make you sound like you're not the asshole. And then everything you're saying now points to the fact that you're an asshole. So, like, dude. It was really hard for me to raise her and take care of her. Thankfully, my sister and mom helped me take care of her when I was working, but still it was a hard time for me to take care of my daughter working and doing chores and other stuff all on my own. Even for her, I sacrificed dating or marriage. I didn't want my daughter to have a stepmom or anything like that. How is that? How is that? Was that good? Was that good? Was that good? Was it? <laughs> Dude, he's such a whiny little bitch. All right, my daughter and her mom's relationship started flourishing around two years ago, which is when you lost your fucking mind because you're an insecure little pussy. But anyway, continuing. Her mom visited me and said she wanted to talk to her daughter. Oh. And I didn't want to allow her, but I thought my daughter needs to know about her mom. It's a good... That, that, and that's a... Hey, that's an astute thought. Your, your daughter should know that she has... A mom. And she wasn't brought into this world by your dumbass only. You know what I mean? She should she should be allowed to know that there are other players in the picture. And she and then she has other options. I hate this guy. Dude, I fucking hate this guy. Okay. They've gotten closer and hung out a lot. I didn't have a problem with that. Sure you didn't. But 10 months ago, my daughter, she said that she wanted to go live with her mom. I refused and told her she should, that it's better she stays with me and visit her mom every day if she wants. But my daughter didn't listen and said she's an adult and she can do whatever she wants. Your daughter is right, first of all. And what, what what's the big deal? Why can't she live with her mom? If, she, if her mom wants to be in the picture, you, what, why are you not encouraging of that? relationship like the opposite of jealousy is encouragement so i think you're fucking insecure about her having a mom because you clearly you said earlier i didn't want my daughter to have a stepmom or anything like that you don't you do you not want your daughter to have a mother figure because like your sister and your mom like that's that's very clearly not her mom and she also knows that everybody around her has Oh, mom. I tried explaining and told her repeatedly that my ex is not a good person. <sighs> Bro, you ever thought that she thinks you're not a good person? I tried explaining and told her repeatedly that my ex is not a good person, but my daughter didn't listen to me. Why would she listen? To you? Like, literally, why would she listen to you? Dude, why would she, why would she listen to you? Of course you're not going to say good shit about her mother. And it's her mother, so she doesn't want to hear bad shit about her mother. Fuck off. Like, like know your place. After she left, oh my god. Dude, bro, he's making himself to be such a... I hate this guy. I fucking hate this guy, dude. After she left, I wasn't in contact with my daughter for all these months. 
I tried, but she would deny meeting me and always tell me she was busy or other excuses. We only talked to each other on the phone. But five days ago, my daughter visited me and she was crying. I was angry at her for ignoring me all this time, but I took her in. Oh, go oh God bless you. God bless. Oh, 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 did you take her in? What what a saint we have we have we we have on our hands. T willing to take his daughter in after his bro. Bro, th there was one time there was one time for like a fucking probably it probably went on for a year and a half where like I was mad at my mom for God knows what. And so I just stopped putting her on my emergency contacts. And, like, at some point she realized that I was not on her emergency contacts. And she was very, like, hurt that it was my dad instead. And, like, I guess I say that to say as soon as I put her back on the contact, we were back. Her feelings were unhurt because she's an adult and I'm a child. Okay. You see how that works? So, how old is your daughter? She's fucking 18. Oh, 24. Uh, no, she's still a baby. I'm 25. I'm a baby. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm just I'm just hoping that people like and subscribe. I don't know. I don't know. I was angry at her for ignoring me all this time, but I took her in. She hugged me right away, and after a while, she told me the truth. She told me that she's pregnant, and her mom kicked her out after she ran out of all the money I gave her. I was so shocked because I didn't even know my daughter had a boyfriend, but now my daughter is pregnant. I'm loving, I'm, I'm loving this fucking, this, this reading. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep reading this, like, this fucking, in this fucking bitch-ass voice. I love my daughter very much, but even, even if she has betrayed me, but I just couldn't deny her entry into my house. I let her in. She is staying with me once again, but I do not talk to her. <laughs> you don't talk to your daughter who, who you're letting live in the house because she's, you're not talking, <laughs> dude what a fucking pussy this guy like, dude, i hate this guy oh my gosh i i do this guy's so, like all right let me let me get back into character here <laughs> she told me she found out about oh my god hold on hold on <laughs> she told me she found out that she's pregnant a month ago and after she told her mom she was kicked out after a lot of taunting for days and her XBF doesn't want to take care of her child so she needs my legal help. I told her I will help her with everything but do not talk to me. I said I did everything for you and sacrificed everything for you but you didn't even come back to your home or meet your father even once. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. You're so, you're, what an entitled but do not talk to me. Arguably, the talking is the part that, like, she needs most help with. Oh, my God. What a piece of shit. What, an, what a shit dad you have. Like, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I just have good parents, but, like, I feel like if I did a murder and I was resentful, they would find it in their hearts to forgive me. And this man can't is, is too much of a child to fucking forgive his daughter for leaving the house because maybe he was way too overbearing as a parent as he raised a 24 year old on his own like dude oh my this guy this guy's such a fucking loser dude okay continuing i haven't been talking to my daughter since she came back she on the other hand is depressed and suddenly turned back into a nine-year-old she would randomly hug me and come to my oh my gosh dude what an bro Bro, this is pissing me off because it's like, yeah, you, you've been there for your daughter for her whole life, except for when she needs you. And now you're f not like, and now you're, 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 you just, you can't, you, you can't fucking, you, you were man enough to raise a child on your own. I thought you can't be man enough to fucking deal deal with a little like oh my gosh dude what a fuck like dude I hate this guy I fucking hate this guy he thinks so highly of himself because like he he's he's not the step dad he's the dad who stepped up you know what I mean all on his own all all on his own and and he like he really thinks that like 
He like it's like he wants his daughter to blow him for 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 raising her appropriate. And like dude, like you're not always going to get the thanks you you think you get, all right? Like sorry. I, I like I don't know how to thank my parents appropriately. I'll probably take them out to vacation in a few years. Once everybody likes subscribes uh sends me Venmo money um the Patreon, we got to get the Patreon going and then everybody can do that. But but like I I can't really show my parents how much I I appreciate them being around and what they've done for me, but like they don't get mad because I'm like ungrateful. Like, I do my best, and, like, that's enough. You know what I mean? Okay, I just read the rest of this. We're about to... I'm about to lose my shit. So, just everybody get ready. I haven't been talking to my daughter ever since she came back. On the other hand, she's depressed and suddenly turned back into a nine-year-old. She would randomly hug me and, and come to my side to sleep, and while sleeping, she hugs me and cries. I feel like she wants her father's comfort, so I hug her back and let her sleep. My daughter begs me... My... Guys, my daughter begs me to talk to her and says that she needs her father's support but i think i should punish my daughter for just abandoning me that's why i'm giving her the silent treatment though i will help her with everything else am i wrong for being upset with my daughter yes dude yes 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 this is part like because i it, like I've run home with my tail between my legs before. The world has fucked you up so much that the last thing you <laughs> the last thing you need is your fucking parents telling you that you were wrong. You see you see what I'm saying? I know I fucked up. That's why I'm back here. That's why I'm sleeping on your couch. Okay, so I have no prospects right now. You know, like I've been there, but I think I should punish my daughter for just abandoning me. N grow the fuck up. The world has punished her enough. She does not need you piling on. I don't know what, like what, why would you think that like, oh, well, this is my, this is my time to kick her while she's down. And like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's your daughter. Fuck this asshole. That, like, oh, I, I forgot we were doing an am I the asshole video. I'm literally just calling him an asshole. Go see a therapist. Like n neither of you are hitting this really well. Shut the fuck up. Your daughter, dude, I like, I honestly don't even want it. Like you guys, you guys can comment the fucking feedback on this but I like I don't I don't have like I'm not entertaining the fucking commenters in the, for that one like like we're just we're just done with that we'll get to we'll get to that that this will be another this will be another video probably but uh, <laughs> okay <laughs>